So many women, when they go through perimenopause, are worried about their mental status and they worry about dementia, Alzheimer's, things like that. Now it is true when our hormones shift and we go into perimenopause that we become more insulin resistant and we just don't deal with our glucose as well. So one of the pros of lifting three times a week for 20 minutes is those muscles that we work out basically open up the glucose doors for 24 hours, which is really important. Us controlling our blood sugar and staying in a healthy range is one of the things that we can do to support our guts, so we don't have the meno belly, and our brains, so we don't have brain fog and issues long term. Alzheimer's has been called type three diabetes because, well, the brain doesn't clear out as well and drain as well. This is one of the reasons I love lymphatic drainage and I do my whole body vibration plate because it supports lymphatic drainage. I have worn a continuous glucose monitor to see how I do with my insulin, with my glucose, and just see how I do. And if I eat three square meals a day with three hours between, no snacks, and the only snack I can tolerate at night without messing me up is nuts, I feel like a better person when I control my glucose levels, and this is good for us in the future. Now my partner, he does a lot of brain games, he does Wordle, he does all the New York Times games to help his mental acuity and his ability to think fast. And I don't enjoy that. Uh, I read and I talk, but perhaps I should also play games. We also know ways you can support your brain health is with omega-3s. And so I always am talking about omega-3s for us to supplement because omega-3s, when we get those balanced with our omega-6s, help us fight inflammation. And as estrogen leaves, we are more likely to be inflamed. Because remember, estrogen is protective, it is anti-inflammatory, and it is neuroprotective. Estrogen is our friend, not the enemy.